Hi, I'm Susan. Susan Moore. I'm the research and instruction librarian here. Some of you look familiar. You've been in the library already. Um, we want to welcome you today to come and to just kind of get a whereabouts of where to start, where to go for certain resources that we have here at the campus. Well, here in the library, we have a bunch of different resources and um, not just books, but databases, useful websites that I'm going to briefly go over today. And I also, everything I'm showing you, I have a handout that you can know where to go to see exactly what I'm showing you. Okay. So our link is right at the top of the page. It's my library. And when you get to here, this is where you can basically search for books. Now we're connected to the Sales Library Network. Has anybody ever heard of that before? You're shaking your head. What is it? It's we're connected to every public library as far away as, gosh, um, I know there's about 80 libraries involved, so all down southeastern Massachusetts. So when you're searching in here for this online catalog, you're ultimately searching over 80 libraries. So we pretty much can get any kind of book. So whether it's resume writing, I have some samples of what I just took out at the New Bedford, my library here on Union. Um, what color is your parachute? This is a classic. This keeps getting reprinted because it works. Um, it basically is for job hunters or career changers. I also have how to write better resumes, cover letters, and my favorite, is anybody a big fan of manga? This is a manga book and it's all about career advice, believe it or not. So there's different wealth of materials that you can use in the library. So if you wanted to, all you would have to put in is just a simple search term and I found over 465 results, right? So we have all these different things, going to Hanson Library, and your Access BCC ID is actually your library card. So on the back of that library card is a 2277 number, and that's what you would use, because you don't have to drive all the way up to Hanson. I don't even know if I know where Hanson is. Or go to Wareham to grab these books. What you can do is very simple. You can just place a hold. This is where you put that 2277 number. And when you did your ID, if you went to Fall River, after you went and had your ID, you have to go back into the library to fill out the card to get you into our system. If you had your ID done here, we're one-stop shopping, so you'll be all set. When you filled out that little blue card, we asked you for your phone number. So that PIN is the last four digits of your phone number. If your number has changed, please call us so we can update it. Because we know you guys are busy, you have school, work, families. So as a courtesy to you, when the book does come in, we give you a phone call just to let you know. So what I could do is just put in, I, I do this so much, it's just my initials now. I'm just gonna simply log in and I can choose New Bedford, and I can place a hold. And I'm all set. And once I do that, it recognizes me, and now I, can, I don't have to repeat the process. I can just look around, say this one looks good to me. I can click on the title. It's going to give me a summary of what the book's about and then I know it's available. The status will indicate if it's on the shelf or as li librarians like to say, the stacks. I don't know why, but we do. Um, and so if it's checked in, it'll, it says it, so it's nonfiction. If it was checked out, it would say checked out. If it was in transit, it means that it's being shipped between libraries. So you may not want to put a hold on a checked out book because you really don't know when that person's going to return it. Now you could say, well, you know, I live in Dartmouth. I could just go pick up the book there. Well, with BCC, usually with a public library, you only get two weeks to check out a book, and they charge you overdue fines. Here at Bristol Community College, you get the book for a month, and you can renew it, and we do not charge for overdue fines on books. We do for DVDs and music CDs, but we really just want our books back. If we don't get the book by the end of the semester, we can put a hold on your account, and you won't be able to register for classes. But usually, typically, I've never had that problem. Students are really good about returning books. The other plus side is, yes, you pick up the book at our library, but to drop it off, you don't have to go back to my library to drop it off. You can do it any sales public library that's near you. So if you do live in Wareham or you are in a cushion it, you can go by Russell, I think that's the Russell Public Library. You can just drop it off there because we're all connected and it will end up going to where it's supposed to go. And it works for anything. So say too, I just wanted to search BCC titles just to see what they had. 
I could do that. Say I want some books on resume writing. Now I'm just searching Bristol Community College. Right. Is there any questions on that? It's pretty simple, searching just the online catalog. Right. And it's a wealth of knowledge just to have, help you get a, a jump on writing those cover letters. There's kind of a way you need to do that, a language you need to use, and particularly resumes. There's different types of resumes. If you, have, if you happen to go into education or higher ed, or eventually if that's your goal, that's something called a curriculum vitae. So it's just good to know what the differences are and how they're supposed to be arranged. And I'm just going to go back to the library services. Now I've created, if you go to course guides, over here I created a career research live guide. And this is kind of one stop shopping for all the resources that we have within the library and out on the internet. So, and also don't forget, BCC does also have a career services, so I put their direct link to their, the main BCC webpage right there so you can take a look at it there. And they're really great to help you put together your resume, cover letter, that sort of thing. But if I click on careers, um, we also have a database. A database is probably a lot safer sometimes than searching the internet using Google. Um, and so this one has all kinds of different topics on job searching, maintaining a career, um, providing current applicable content for our, all of it. So you can definitely search our databases. If you're off campus, no problem. As long as you have internet somewhere, it's just going to prompt you for that 2277 number on the back of your card. And then again, you can search our library catalog. I just showed you that. And this just gives you some example, depending on where you want to go with your career. Because if you wanted to be specific, you can look up nursing occupations. This particular book is on food, agriculture, and working with natural resources, green energy jobs. There are specific books within the library to help you with that, in case you're just exploring where you want to go. Okay. I also pulled out some really great um, websites. I went through these myself, so I can tell you that they're verified and valid information. And my favorite, I think, would be the Occupational Outlook Handbook. So if you wanted to see, oops, you can search by career. And what's really nice about this is that it will tell you what kind of education you need, what the potential job growth is going to be. So it's the job outlook between 2012 and 2022 is 41%. That's excellent. So that's a lot faster than expected for most jobs. It tells you what it, you're going to do, what your work environment is, the pay. So this is another great resource if you're trying to explore where you want to go. Because at this point, you're still in your associate's program. If you're trying to go on a four year, you may still not have a clue, or you may be taking classes where you think you want to do something. But you start taking, this is what happened to me. Um, I thought I was going to be a history high school teacher, I ended up being a librarian. But um, you start taking classes, and you're like, wow, I'm really interested in this. So this is just a really great way to explore your options. And this little thing is bugging me. So these are just different one-stop planning, pathways, career resources, mapping your future. And again, job searching, job hunting. Again, I pulled out all our BCC titles. There's that what color is your parachute right down at the bottom. So again, you can search the online catalog. And I even pulled out some search terms for you. And you can click on these, and these will go right to the online catalog for books. So search terms such as job hunting or applications for positions. Okay. And then I have, this is a really great quick little tutorial on interviewing skills. And then also too, don't leave out professional organizations. So for me in my field, it would be the American Librarian Association. Or for occupational therapists, they have their own associations. They're always posting jobs, right? Networking. A lot of times as students, you can get scholarships to go to their conferences. And this is a great way to meet people in your field. And that way, you'll, they'll, you know, here's, you know, if you can get a little card or something with an email, 
you can drop off your email with these people and that way if a job opening opens up they'll be like you know what I remember this person she seemed really great I'm gonna email her this job so don't leave those out anything dental hygienist um, clinical labs they all have these associations and if you are in any one of our science programs I also carry books in my library to help you pass all this at the exams so whether it's um, the EMT exams I have that I have nursing I have dental I have just about anything you can think of. Real estate, I have all of those right in the libraries to help you pass with certification exams. So this is just an interactive cover letter tutorial, tutorial interviewing skills, and then I have Massachusetts Job Quest and the South Coast Hot Job List here as well. And most importantly, you want to do something you're passionate about but you want to be able to pay the bills, <laughs> right? So it's all about negotiating your salary. So this is a great, this is actually Yahoo Finance. I found this, I thought that was a really good, it's a quick video of what not to do in negotiating. And just again, some finding salary information. Um, the other thing I didn't show, but we also have databases on companies. So if you went to go to work for Verizon, you could call up a librarian, I'm gonna give you information, or go into one of our databases. We have many business ones and find out as much as you can about that company. Because when you show up for that interview and you know who their CFOs are, you know a lot about their company and what their mission is, that's gonna impress them because you took the time to find out. So always go to the company's website and again, I can show you a quick. Where's my database stuff? If I go to articles and I click by subject, I can go to my business databases. So business insight essentials, I actually can look up the company, how much money they make, where they're located, who's their parent company, who's in charge of what. So that's a really good thing to know. If you get your foot in your door and you finally get that interview, you want to make sure that you're armed with as much information as possible, right? Particularly when you're going in for salary negotiations, because you want to know what your position will be doing. You want to scout around what other people in that field are on average are making. And particularly if you're going out of state, different states will pay different because of the cost of living is different. So if I was to take a librarian position down south, it probably would be a little less than my salary, but then again, if you look at like the houses you could buy for $120,000, you get like an eight bedroom house compared to up here. So it's all about having the right tools, the right information, and just arming yourself with that. So I'm just gonna pass out my handouts. one for both of you and one for you. My contact information is there. If you ever need any help, please do not hesitate to contact me. I'm here Monday through Friday, 8 to 4. Oops. Here you are, Mom. You're welcome. And just in case, too. And my business cards. So again, if you need any help, need some books, you need help with any of your research projects or some company information, don't forget where I'm located. Here you are, here you are, and here you are. Is there any questions on anything the library has to offer? Well, I want to thank you so much. You've been a lovely audience. And again, my name's Susan Moore, and I'm in the library. If you need any help whatsoever, please don't hesitate to contact me.